What's up everybody, this is Tyler Burns, host of the Antidote Television Show, where Christ is a cure for culture, and conversations create fertile ground for change. We're here at Flavor Fest at Crossover Church in Tampa, Florida. Really excited to be here. Now we just interviewed the mastermind behind the score of the Antidote, um, behind the intro beat that you heard coming into this interview. And now we have his better half here. Um, he's, she's an artist, she's very talented and skilled, and she's the wife of super producer, Whit. I'm just gonna throw that to him so he's behind the camera. Super producer is Kelly Kells. Thank you so much for spending Thank you for having me. Thank awesome. You. Now if somebody's just tuning in, they're not familiar with your music, 30 second intro to who you are, the essentials. Okay, um, well I'm a singer. I sing a uh, pop and R&B. Um, I just came out with an album like a year ago, but um, I wouldn't necessarily, I don't usually throw that out there, but I feel like I kind of have to. Um, I have an album. It's kind of old stuff. I feel like where I'm at right now, I've, I've grown a lot, um, just musically, lyrically and stuff. So um, I don't really like to tell people to be quite honest, but um, I do have one. Um, I've done features um, recently with, um, I can't even remember, a lot of people. Jay Murray, Past 83, uh, Kristen Gray, and some other rappers. Um, a lot of rappers I've been doing uh, some features on and stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll just start working on my own project um, pretty soon, but nothing like rushed right now, nothing really in the works. So how did music just derive from you? Is this something you were always skilled in? You came out the womb singing? Or was it something <laughs> that you just, you heard from someone else? You're like, ah, oh, I think I can do that. No, actually, um, I definitely grew up singing. Um, my parents had like videos of me when I was two, just singing Winnie Houston and stuff. Um, so my parents really, um, really pushed me to pursue that and I felt like it was in me too. Like it wasn't just because they wanted me to do it. Like they really helped me and pushed me to do what I love to do. So um, that is that's my goal to, to be a singer full time, God willing. And I feel like God put that passion in my heart, so I'm gonna go for it. How would you describe your style? Like is it worshipful? You said you kind of do pop and R and B as well. And from like actually, I think the first time I heard you on the track was the um, Pastor 83. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, that's like different. It's, we have this kind of unique vibe as well. So how would you how would you describe it? Um, I don't know. I guess it would be more of like a R and B soul. That's that's more of where I'm trying to go. Um, I do love pop music, but I don't really want to call myself a pop artist. Um, I really love just soul. I love soulful music. So that's really where I'm trying to go right now. Excellent. Okay, now we asked with this a year ago, this week, Flavor Fest. Mm -hmm. um, something big happened. Yeah. <laughs> Major. Just, just like he proposed. Yes, he proposed <laughs> in dramatic fashion, yes, he did. in epic fashion. So did you have any idea of what was going down? Did you were there any hints? Did he drop any breadcrumbs? It's crazy. Everybody knew. Everybody. Like my whole family, all my friends knew, and I could not believe that nobody leaked anything. Like, well, actually, it's funny. My family knew, but they didn't tell my friends until the day of. Because they were like, "Y'all girls talk," and I know yeah. that you would have probably slipped and told her. But it seemed like everybody knew, like that night, like my parents were just telling everybody, like make sure you're there after her performance. And I didn't know, I had no idea. Cause we were, when we talked about marriage, we kind of set it for like, you know, next year, which would have been early this year, January 2012. But lo and behold, it happened. So it was great, I had no idea. That's really cool. Now, we talked to him about kind of like the process of what relationships have been through. And he really emphasized the fact, and I think he did it in a really, really good way, how relationships are meant to be like sanctifying, meant to kind of oh, purify yeah. you, meant to kind of draw up the stuff that's yeah. deep down and, and allow the Lord to deal with it. From a female perspective, can you speak to that? Because I know a lot of people watching may be in the relationship. Yeah, it's so true. It is so true. Like, I thank God for him, honestly. He's like, he's really into um, reading, surprisingly, because not many guys are. And he's he was pushing me to read all these marriage books. And it's funny because like, I see women doing that, like wives, like, oh honey, please read this book. And he's over here like, hey, you need to read this book, read this book, like before we're married, we had to read this book, and um, I forgot which one, honestly, because there were so many, but it did talk about that, like, um, in marriage, it is so sanctifying, and you really do see the ugliness of yourself that comes out, and um, like he always says, like, humility is so important, and <laughs> It shows early on uh, how prideful we are naturally. So um, yeah, just humility, um, being really prayerful, and just being submissive to the fact that you know I'm a wife, uh, especially for a Latin 
girl. I, I'm sure y'all know some crazy Puerto Ricans. Um, we have a strong personality, so <laughs> you have to get used to that. You know, being under somebody. So, um, but it's been a blessing. It really has. Like, like you said, it really changes you, sanctifies you for the better. Now, can you speak to? I'm sorry to kind of zoom in on the relationship thing. I think it's really you guys have young and also like really gospel centered in the marriage thing um, so I want to capitalize on that if possible like what do you think about how a guy approaches a girl how a guy treats a girl like I know it's a tendency now for girls to kind of feel like they can be treated any kind of way you talk about that intrinsic self-worth of being not just made in the image of God but also being something that's precious yeah definitely um, I think in society like especially in music people don't realize how big music is like how strong their impact is and um, I think a lot of it has to do with the music, like um, just how they talk about women, obviously, how they talk about girls. So girls feel that they can be treated like that. And they even like jam to the song that's talking about, like, you know, it's such a, it's weird. Say, bad it's word, so bad word. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're just like, weird. hey, that's my jam. It's crazy. But um, yeah, like you said, it's really, it's really sad to see some girls just let men treat them the way they do, um, especially if you're not a Christian, because you're just open to whatever. Like, and at the same time, there are some Christian girls who are, you know, desperate, I guess you could say, and they, they'll take anything they can get. Um, but as for guys pursuing girls, I definitely think that's biblical, you know. Some girls are bold, and they'll just, you know, walk up to a guy and be like, hey, hey, I just met you, here's my number, you know. That's but, um, yeah, I think that's totally um, biblical first to kind of watch the person, too, not just go based off of, like, their looks, you know, watch them, see how they are, who they hang around with, that that's a big thing. Social networks is funny, but you can totally tell a person by social networks. And if they have some ratchet stuff going on, be careful. <laughs> some ratchet yeah, be stuff. Careful. That's it. Be careful. But um, yeah, it, it's crazy. It's it's hard. Relationships is hard, and it's so funny because we were a long distance relationship, and everybody was like, "How do you guys do it?" We didn't. We never been in a long distance relationship other than with each other. So I didn't even think I could do it, but I think it was better for us because it made our communication that much stronger. Um, trust that much stronger and um, yeah we know that it was God like we couldn't have done it in ourselves so just to be Christ centered <laughs> is a big thing that's great those I mean you two go together so well because it was just it was just <laughs> the nuggets and everything yeah. that you guys are giving are great what's next what can we expect from you over the next six months to a year um, honestly he has a lot of work to do as you know he's working on a lot of stuff um, we're still settling in I'm not really like I said I'm not really in a rush um, to work on a new project even though like you know that writer's itch sometimes you're like oh I really want to put something out right now but um, God willing like next year maybe mid-year I'll have like a free EP out that's what we plan to do um, just to get my name out there get a little buzz going on and then you know later on in the line drop an album and stuff, so. it's really refreshing to hear you're willing to take a step back oh, for sure. priorities mm -hmm. a lot of couples are just like ah, I just gotta go gotta right, go gotta right. go so where can people follow you keep up with you and stay in touch um, definitely follow me on Twitter that's where I kind of talk the most <laughs> uh, I have a Facebook I don't remember the link but you can just type in Kelly Kells um, with a Z Kelly Kells with, with a Z K-E-L-Z not L-L-Z so okay with a double L um, also well I was under my father's label Holy Zone Records so you can still look for information about me on there it's holyzonerecords.com uh, and um, yeah that's it the social networks like once I have something new out once I have an official website it'll be on there you know so I really keep up to date on there you said you were on your father's record label yeah what was that like I'm a side note like I, not with this but I work for my dad really you know so okay what so is you that? know how it is yeah, <laughs> That, that kind of weird relationship, that yeah. thin line between employer, yeah. um, child, and so sometimes it's like, oh, nah, I can just make you do it because, you know. Yeah, it's either like do the chores or go record. Exactly. It's one of the other. It's like one of those. So, yeah. so what was that like? Um, honestly, like, he's helped me so much. Like, as you know, it can be sometimes like, oh, like, leave me alone. Don't be my manager. Just be a father for now. But he's pushed me so hard. Um, I wouldn't have been able to grow with it 
anybody else. Um, it's not only him, it's my mom too, but he's just like the main manager. Um, my brother's also a rapper, so he okay. just pushed us since we were little to really like pursue music, pursue the Lord. Um, so yeah, so when I got married, I kind of stepped away. I'm still, I wouldn't say I'm under the label anymore, but I'm still working with them like I would be. Um, I'm just independent right now, so. That's awesome. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, so our parents are so instrumental. Yes, they are. Especially they God. Are. Mm -hmm. Love you, Dad. Love you, Mom. Yes. Shout out to the Dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending some thank time you. with us, guys. Keep up with Kelly Kells and also with her husband, Whit, as well. I think y'all should write a book or something. Or do, do not something, yet. Not right? yet. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I'm not trying to put y'all out there, but y'all should yeah. do something that thank really you. talks about this wisdom and stuff that transmits that to people. So. God will. Okay. Well, as we, as we always say, I'm your host, Tyler Burns, you've just been handed the antidote. It's up to you what you do with it. See you. Which, which one do you prefer? <laughs> To be quite honest with you, I prefer New York because I like what, what's going on there better. But would I ever live there? No. I would never move back to New York. No, no. Um, but I, I'm tired of Florida too. That's why I'm happy where we are right now. I'm happy. So. Where are you guys from? I'm not supposed to be asking questions. No, no. Born and raised in uh, Pensacola.